This is De Latsinango Kennel Club, Sunday, October 27th. This is detective search number two in the afternoon. We had our cones as our start line. We had a large exterior section that was delineated all the way to the back, to the back of the building. There were two hides out here. One hide was located underneath this bar of the rake. Dogs did a beautiful job sourcing this. The wind was actually going this way and a lot of dogs caught it on the front and wrapped around. Some dogs caught it on the other side and wrapped around and then dismissed all of this very nicely, came back up and worked straight into the tractor. And on the tractor or on the lawnmower, we had a hide tucked behind this plate that was wrapping around the front. Dogs did a really nice job of sourcing either from this side or this side. The wind is coming along here. There was a toy here. And inside this part of the shed, there was a hide, an inaccessible hide underneath these logs tucked uh, on top of the stones. This hide presented really nicely for the dogs. It was quite stable. Dogs worked it back. A lot of dogs caught it from here, um, but dogs were also trying to get underneath the logs. The rest of this area was all blank. Very nice job clearing. We did have some interest, a little bit of odor going up on the wall, but uh, dogs were quick to dismiss it. There was a hide tucked underneath this piece of siding, which was actually working its way around the front of the garage door. Dogs were catching it here and working it back. A little bit of odor up on the wall, but the dog sourced it beautifully. We did have a mimic here and we had four toys out in our search area as distractors. The fifth hide was located right here, tucked underneath the door frame. Dogs were wrapping around this way, catching this as soon as they turned, and the handlers were catching up to the dogs while the dogs were here sourcing. It was really nice to watch. The interior portion of our search area included the doorway, this part of the window, and the far side of the shop. Our blue dots were our boundaries. We did take the area where the trash cans and the gasoline cans were out of play. And this interior space was blank. And this is what gave the handlers a little bit of a heartache, having the dogs work back and forth. Dogs started working harder, going up, digging in. We did have some false alerts in this room, but we had an outstanding afternoon watching these dogs work. Beautiful job from the handlers as well. It was a pleasure to watch everyone. We had 12 exhibitors today and seven qualifiers. The time allotted for this search was 10 minutes. There were five hides and five distractors. The total square footage of our search area was 4,222 square feet. It was a phenomenal weekend. Great way to end on a positive note. Very, very proud of all the competitors. Congratulations.